guys, it's Marianne and welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. Did you know our fun activities are focused on different subjects such as science, history, health, and even arts? In today's activity, we are going to focus on the winter theme by learning about penguins and making your own cards. But first, we're going to go over some key words and then we'll get started. Our first key word is flapper. A flapper is a flat limb without fingers used for swimming, used by various sea animals such as the seal, whale, and turtles. Next up is wobble. Wobble is when you walk with short steps and a big clumsy side to side movement. Next up is hatch. Hatch is when a chick emerges from an egg, also called hatched. And finally, emperor. Emperor is a large penguin that lives in the, in the Arctic. Now we'll go with Mercedes for our fun activity. Hey guys, it's Mercedes and for today's activity, I will be showing you how to make some cute penguins out of your hands. Um, if you guys are excited and ready to make this, stay tuned so you can learn how to make this cute and adorable penguins out of your hand. So for today's activity, you will need some glue, scissors, you will need some construction paper, it does not matter what color you use, um, you can be as creative as you want to, um, a pen or a pencil, and some googly eyes. If you guys do not have googly eyes, that is okay, you can just draw on the face. So let me show you how to make these. Let me switch the camera angle so you guys have a better view. The first step for today's activity is go ahead and choose the color you want to make your penguins. I'm just gonna go ahead and use black, um, but you guys can obviously make it any color you want. You guys can even make it into a rainbow penguin. But yeah, the first thing you're gonna do is open your hand wide and put it down on the paper. Go ahead and trace your hand using a pen or a pencil. If you're using black, I would recommend using a white crayon or a white colored pencil just because it will show up better. But I can clearly see um, my green pen on this, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Go ahead and trace your other hand. Once you have both hands um, traced out, go ahead and with some scissors, cut them out. Once you are done cutting out both hands, now we are going to make the penguin's body. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some white paper. I'm just using old, I'm just recycling old white paper I had laying around. And basically what you're gonna wanna do is make a circle that's gonna fit in the palm of your hand. Um, you guys obviously don't have to trace anything to make a perfect circle but if you guys do want a perfect circle go ahead and trace whatever you want but i'm just gonna eyeball it so i think that should be big enough so go ahead and draw your circle and once you have drawn it out go ahead and cut this part out too um i'm just gonna put them and these are a pretty good size. Yep, I like the way they look, so I'm gonna leave them like that. Now, you're gonna take your glue, and on the back of your circle, you're going to make half a circle. Like this with your glue. Go ahead and glue it on. Make sure you leave some space for the face, so 
As you can see, I'm gonna leave some space for my penguin's face. I'm just gonna glue it on there. I'm gonna lift up the circle and I'm gonna put glue on each finger just a little bit so my body is glued down all the way. If you put a little bit too much glue, don't worry about it, it will dry clear. Once you have done the first penguin, go ahead and set this aside. While it dries, go ahead and glue down the body for the other penguin. Remember, put a little bit of glue in half a circle. Leave some space for the face. And glue it on there. Lift up the flap. Put some glue on your fingers. And now that we have the body of our penguins, go ahead and you guys can draw on the face, but I'm going to be gluing on some googly eyes. I have really small googly eyes, so my penguins are gonna have really small eyes, but that's okay. There you go, now I have glued on my googly eyes for my penguins. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a beak. Choose whatever color you want for the beak, but I just chose to use purple. So for purple, go ahead and cut a little triangle, like so, like so. And you're gonna fold the triangle in half. doesn't have to be perfect. Once you have cut your triangle in half, as you can see mine isn't perfect, but we will fix that. Go ahead and point the part that is folded, um, point it towards you. So for this instance, I would point it this way. And cut a smaller triangle. Put this aside, and now we have a little triangle. Fix it. When you open it, it should look like this. Go ahead and take the bottom of it, put some glue on there, and glue it down. There's one beak, go ahead and do the same process again for the other beak. Once you have put both um, beaks on there, you guys can obviously decorate your penguins however you want. Um, use crayons, markers, whatever you have laying around and just decorate your penguins. I think I'm gonna do some flowers on mine. I just wrote America Reads on one of my penguins' bellies and wrote my name on the other. Once you are done decorating your penguins however you want, go ahead and get whatever color construction paper you want. I'm going to be using green and let's glue them on there. So decide how you want your penguins. I want mine to be holding hands. So once you have positioned them how you want them, go ahead and glue them down. While I glued down my penguins, I decided to tell you some fun facts about penguins. Um, yeah, I'm going to tell you some fun facts before I finish this activity. And the first fun fact is that penguins do not live at the North Pole. And I found this really interesting because I always thought penguins lived in the North Pole but apparently they don't so I thought that would be something I would share with you guys. Um, the second 
fun fact is that penguins see a range of fish and other sea life that they catch under water. So when they go out and hunt for their food, it's usually sea creatures that live under water. Um, penguins can also drink seawater and penguins spend around half their time in water and the other half on land. So basically, most of the time that they're underwater or in water, they are usually hunting and gathering foods for themselves and their babies who are growing up. And finally, the emperor penguin is the tallest of all the penguin spe species, reaching as tall as 120 centimeters or 47 inches in height. That is honestly pretty, pretty tall if you ask me. But yeah, those are all the fun facts I have for you guys today. And yeah, just keep on decorating your penguin. Right now, I'm doing cutting out a small little snowflake that I will glue on to my background and will be done. So yeah. I just did a cute little snowflake with the extra white paper I had. I'm just gonna glue it on there. You guys can draw some snow or do whatever background you guys want for your penguins and we are done so this is what mine came out looking like and i also made another one earlier so you can obviously decorate them however you want just have fun with it be creative and these are awesome gifts or um, cute holiday cards you can make for whoever you want um, but yeah, these were really easy to make and really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed them and I will let my partner finish off this video. Take it away, Luis. Thank you Mercedes for showing that cute activity on making your own little penguin. Now, let's talk more about penguin. So, the female lays an egg in the months of May or June and then transfers the egg to the male so that she will be able to go to sea and get some food while the male incubates the egg it's for about 65 days. So now after the chick hatches, the male is set the chick on his feet and covers it with his pouch. When the female returns from the feeding, now it's the male's turn to go to sea and give, be able to give food for the little chick because while the male is at sea, the female will feed um, the baby chick um, from the food that she got from sea. So that a few weeks later, both the male returns and then both the parents will be able to feed by regurgitating food and keeps it on an eye. So yeah, both of them will take turns while feeding their chick because both parents are really important for the baby chick. And then grows up and then the cycle keeps going all over again so thank you for joining us today we hope you come back really soon um, please like subscribe and hopefully you guys will be able to uh, get notified if you ring that bell button and see our next videos in the future so take care